Good morning guys, it is Thursday today, just a normal, oh I can't even talk, just a normal Thursday but I thought I would just vlog today, just like take you with me for the day. I slept with Olaplex in my hair last night because I don't think I've spoken about it on here but I went to like a hairdresser and got completely wrecked, like asked for a bit of an ombre, she, just gave, me, she gave me like dark ends, it was all funny. Anyway then they ended up like stripping it. And I don't know if you can see, it's like a bit funny because it's got all the Olaplex in it. And then I, so I slept with the Olaplex in. And then this morning I put in some Le Bang hair like deep conditioning treatment thing. Um, and that's meant to stand for like 10 minutes, but I've left it in for like a couple of hours. So now I'm just gonna have a shower. I normally don't shower in the mornings. I'm like a night shower person. I just don't shower in the mornings, but I'm gonna shower this morning to get this out. And um, hopefully it's feeling a little bit better. So yeah, I'm pretty much just on a hair journey to like get healthy hair again. So I'm all showered. Who knows what's happening really. I'm just gonna put some of this shit in. I've been using this for like Quite a few years now miracle hair treatment by 11 it smells like coconut it just looks like that and it's like a cream kind of thing and i just put it through like mostly my ends but i do take it up here because i've got quite a bit of like short like breakage you can't really see now that it's wet but um just at the back i reckon from like tying it up all the time um so i just chuck that through and then I also put through this oil stuff or just like whatever treatment oil I have. This is a Kerastase protection illuminator one. I don't even know. But I just put like a couple of pumps of that in like, oh there's quite a bit actually but I look like an oil slick quite good for me. It's just going to be such a fucking long road to get this in healthy condition and the annoying thing is is that the whole reason I wanted to go like a little bit darker at the roots was to, um, oh, it's about to fall down, X-rated, was to, like, so that I didn't have to touch my hair with lightener anymore, and I could just, like, this could be blonde and grow out, and then, like, my roots could be, you know, my normal colour, and it would blend, but instead, I literally got given, like, dark ends, it was so cooked, but anyway, nothing I can do now, I feel like it's just going to slowly lighten up as like the dark fades it already even looks lighter and like obviously when i dry it's gonna be way different so yeah i just let it dry naturally um yeah i try not to use a hair dryer because again you know heat i'm just screwing myself up i'm about to do my makeup i'm just gonna do a quick face i have to get a few like photos today and we're not gonna go to the gym till later i literally probably wear makeup once every two weeks like I actually just never do it um but I did say on my stories yesterday that I'm gonna like start doing more like filming on here for you guys that's one of the reasons why I buggered off my eyelashes um there's still like one left bye look at that what's going on but yeah I've obviously the first time you guys are knowing about it on here even though you probably saw it on Instagram but yeah I've Canned my um, eyelash extensions after having them for what three years. I'm just in honestly, these are the comfiest, they're men's Calvin Klein um, like pajama pants, and then I'm pretty sure this is Hunter's old top, so that's just amazing. Is this like a real fucked up angle to show you my makeup? I don't know, I'm just gonna do it anyway, it's only gonna be fast. Um, my hair's lightened as well with that ex, you know, with like another wash, so that's quite good for me. Oh my god guys, 
cute cuddling. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I have to ignore the house at the moment because we're actually moving. Well, we're at mum and dad's house at the moment, but we're moving this weekend. So everything's like getting all packed up, boxes and shit. They're just making a shake with some eggs, it looks like. Have you had eggs? I can smell them. I'm gonna make a protein shake as well. Oh, cut my hair off. Oh no, that's right. So I'm having three drinks this morning. The first one is my Renew Plus from Genora. It's just um, marine collagen, and so that's good for like your hair, skin, nails, and Lord knows I need help with my hair at the moment. Jeez. So this is in the flavor pineapple, but I way prefer the berry one. It's just my fave. So I'm just gonna mix that up. Normally I shake it up because it it just mixes better if you shake it. Uh, the Rini Plus has um, volcanic detox and vitamin C all in this one. So you just take one scoop and it's real good. Sorry, it's like cutting my face off. It's real good for like gut health um, and the uptake of vitamin C as well. So I just drink that. If you want to get some Genora, you can use my code Riley15, which gets you a discount. And then I'm going to make, sorry, all these discount codes. And then I'm going to make a Lux protein shake for breakfast. So I just make it with water and ice. And um, I have a discount code for that as well. It's just Riley in capitals. So you can get 10% off. Lux is also the um, premium whey isolate, which isolate, isolate isolate or isolate however you want to say it um it has less carbs less fats less sugars and more protein it's just a more pure form of protein and it's my favorite one at the moment they've got it in this chocolate um cupcake flavor and also a vanilla one as well i feel like it might be vanilla cupcake vita's on the phone so i have to talk quietly but look she literally hates having a lead on like she like loves going for walks but she goes all frozen. Oh, that's the wrong way. Turn it round. It's okay. You're right. She goes all actual frozen. Good girl. Look, her paws just sitting there. It's okay. <laughs> it's all done. You can move now. <laughs> you can move now. No. That pull down, it's okay. Oh my god. Just had to go out in the rain, didn't we? You drown rat. We got in just before it started pissing down again. The weather's just been a bit cooked recently here. Like, look. Will it even focus? Probably not. Sorry. I've only got one hand, but it's okay, eh? You want a treat? She hates the camera. Do you want a treat? Yes. We are gonna go and get all the shit that I need. Vita needs to go and put a car in his name because he just bought it. So he's gonna go and change that over before it's too late because I left mine too long and I got a fine because I thought that the lady that I was buying it off did it, but I actually had to go do it. So that was real cute. Also, I'm wearing this crop from Gymshark and underneath I've got an Eamon bra. It's quite cool. It's like um, that seamless material, so it's real comfy. Hey. What are you doing? Well, I'm showing you around my crop. And I'm wearing the Sasuke high-waisted black leggings, which are real comfy. Not really that squat proof, but like real comfy. And my shoes are Adidas Falcons, black ones. I've been loving these at the gym recently because as you guys know, I can't run because of my ankle anyway. So like the cardio I do is like cross trainer or stair master or like circuit stuff so they've been awesome for that but like don't come for me if you get some sort of injury in them because then i don't think they're made for like gymming i decided not to have lunch we're gonna have our pre-workout and then go to the gym quickly because i need to go pick hunter up from school today because dad's held up at work yum this is fucking so yum 
Yum. I ordered some of the shit. Alani No. It's a pre-workout and it's cotton candy grape flavor and it's bomb. If you loved like grape flavored, what are they called? Jolly, jolly drinks. You know, like when you go to kids parties and they're in the um, little bottles and they're like bright purple. This tastes like that, eh? Actually tastes like that. Get hyped. Woo! Are you getting hyped in there, babe? I'm getting another glass. Let's fucking go! This is the big hype song. Workout done. It was a real fast one, but oh, you can't really tell because I got makeup on. But whew, I'm literally dripping with sweat. I did work out in this, but like it's not a very hot day anyway. If you push for time, just pick exercises that you find really hard set a timer and just rotate through like four exercises or you can just pick two and rotate through them Whew. so we're picking hunter up and um he doesn't know this car so i'm gonna i'm gonna scare him put your window down oi get in the car oh shit <laughs> were you scared no these are cool headphones <laughs> Do you think they're headphones? The earmuffs, you dick. <laughs> We're on the topic of thinking, should I change my Instagram name? Hunter's having a bit of input. Vita kind of thinks yes. But I made right. Healthy Chick 101 as kind of like, but not then, a piss take, but like, I'm funny. But you like know, like, people, it was never like, I'm healthy. It's like taking the piss. Whenever people bring it up, you could just tell them that you took the piss, like, to take the name. I think people know I'm not like being serious. Yeah, but like, what about newcomers? Like seeing it. Yeah, I don't know. I think that, um... You could put it in your bio that you... I don't know. I think that it's really up to you, but I think they... I think you should keep it because, um, it's... It's original, it's it's like a catchy name instead of having a name like Rydog or something. <laughs> Rydog. I like yeah. Rydog. We're not doing that, Vita. <sighs> I don't know. I feel like it's like... Me. I can't really... Change yeah, change your Instagram name to me. No, that would probably be taken actually. Already taken. But oh well. Guess we have to decide. McBang Queen. Healthy Thick 101. That's funny. Healthy Thick 101. She thick. Yeah. She mad thick. <laughs> Triple C. Triple C. Not even double. Triple. Make that quadruple. Oh, okay. It's getting a bit much. Calm down. This is what they do when Hunter gets home. Calm no. Down. Calm down. I'm just having a post workout meal of veggie sausages. So letting those cook because I haven't had lunch yet and it's like, what, three o'clock? But um, I'm just going to combine the shit that I'm meant to have, like make extra for dinner. So I'll have my extra veggies that I'm meant to have, like for the lunch and my carbs so rice i'll just add it to my dinner and have like a bigger dinner because that's when i'm like most hungry you know i just want to eat all the things after about 4 30. i'm just sitting here replying to some comments and shit and messages and i just uploaded my workout video that i did but i'm pretty sure you would have already seen it because it will be in this vlog um but i just wanted to quickly touch on something i uploaded this photo um when was that yesterday yesterday yeah and sure created some bloody controversy didn't it my caption was midweek reminder that not even a single one of yours was put on this planet to lose weight your purpose is not to get abs it's not to minimize your cellulite dig deeper our time here is short make it worthwhile so sort of meaning that like i don't know i feel like i you know speaking from experience and a whole lot of other women's our lives are centered around losing weight or trying to become skinny or and even if like you're the other way around like you're trying to put on weight or you're trying to you know grow your booty or whatever um i just feel like yeah it's awesome to have goals and 100 percent like i'm you know i go to the gym every day and i'm still trying to tone up and lose weight and you know like be healthy and all the rest but it's not our purpose and it's not our whole life and it shouldn't be all that we're 
striving for like as in you know being a better person more important than what we look like do you know what i mean like i just it was sort of just meaning that that we shouldn't just base our whole worth and everything off what we look like and everyone just started kicking off like some people were kicking off about my name healthy chick 101 you're not healthy someone said you look like you've eaten a healthy chick and it was just like i just laugh about it because i'm just like I'm just a funny girl, you know, like I've spent my whole life ripping myself to shreds just like because that's just what I do. Like I'm just a fucking, I laugh about everything. And then someone today sent me someone's story and they were like, um, they didn't name me, but it was pretty clear. They like read my caption and they were like, I just think it's disgusting or something um, that so many or that um, influencers that have thousands of hundreds of thousands of followers are influencing women to live an unhealthy lifestyle and you're you know people that are overweight they're not healthy and you're what did she say she said um something that was like that I'm like limiting my life and all the things that I can do and encouraging people to be fat and all the rest and I was just like Okay, first of all, you're cancelled. You don't even follow me. Like, how funny is it that half these people don't even follow me, but they still find the time to check in on me. I'm doing well, boo. Don't worry about me. Just have their say when they, like, clearly just don't know what's going on. It's just so funny. Like, body positivity isn't about being, like, everyone be fat and it's better to be fat. Like, that's just not what it is. And, like, first of all, why are you so concerned about my health? Like... Hun, it's actually got nothing to do with you. It just doesn't concern you. The only thing that you should be concerned about is your own health. Like, just relax. And second of all, loving my body didn't make me fat. If anything, it made me healthy. It made me lose weight. Because for me, and the message that I'm trying to spread is to love your body no matter what. Like, it doesn't matter if you're 200 kilos or fucking 60 kilos. Love your body. Love everything about it. Whether you've got stretch marks, whether you've got cellulite, whether you've got none of those things, whether you would like to have a bigger bum, whether you'd like to have smaller boobs, whatever it is, love your body and love your body enough to give it what it needs. Exercise because it's good for you. Eat healthy because it's good for you in moderation. Like, like are these people not getting it? I just don't like... And like, if you're just gonna say shit like that, first of all, educate yourself. And second of all, just shut up. I wrote this thing on my story ages ago and I reposted it today because I just feel like some people need to read it. So I've written, no, body positivity is not glamorizing being fat and unhealthy. Body positivity is acceptance and appreciation of all human body types. It is a social movement rooted in the belief that all human beings should have a positive body image and be accepting of their own bodies as well as the bodies of others. In other words, just shut up. You don't get to decide who's healthy and who's not. There is no extent. Every single person can always be healthier or make healthier choices, even if you're the fucking healthiest person in the world. There is always going to be room for improvement. Health isn't black and white. Being overweight can be detrimental to one's health. Being underweight can be detrimental to one's health. Smoking, drinking, eating glass, don't do that. The list goes on. Celebrating the skin you're in is always okay, regardless of the stretch marks we are taught to hate. Maybe you are bullied for your height or how your ears might stick out. What isn't okay is hating a part of you, refusing to eat because you hate your thighs. That's what's not okay. Put some effort into learning to love yourself. Being body positive isn't stopping anyone from being healthy. It's not making people fat. Everybody is worthy of love and respect. The ultimate form of self-love, in my opinion, is taking accountability for your body and making choices for your body and your mind to be the healthiest it can be for you. None of this stems from hate. I credit the success of my entire weight loss journey to body positivity. Loving my body enough to treat it with the love and respect and nutrients it deserves. Loving my fat body didn't make me fat. If you're on a health journey and you've been criticizing yourself for years and it hasn't worked out, try approving of yourself and see what happens. And if you cannot be positive, at least be quiet.
And I just feel like that just sums up everything that I try to say because writing it down just makes it more clear because when I talk I just ramble and talk about other shit. But yeah, I just like, people need to educate themselves on body positivity. Body positivity does not make people fat. Um, yeah, I just blows my mind really and just why are you following me sis and if you're not following me why are you checking up on me no one told you you had to oh i've got mascara everywhere no one told you that you had to look at my shit do you know what i mean like i just don't get what makes people think something like yeah okay think it whatever but don't fucking write it i just there's just so many more things to worry about and like especially with my caption like I literally was telling people like we don't have much time on this earth make your time worthwhile like work towards something bigger than just what we look like and everyone goes nuts about what we look like literally this is my mood to that and literally if it upsets you that I can love my body at this size or any size. Aww. Actually, just this. Aww. It's alright, babe. You'll be alright. Thank you. Next. So me and Veda are both gonna have um tofu parmigiana. I made it one time. I made it one time ages ago. Eh? Not ages ago, a couple of weeks ago. Mm. And basically, you just grab a thing of tofu, I'll show you how we do it. You slice it that way Don't so that bite. you're left with like two thin slices. Oh my god. This is why we don't let Vita cut the tofu. Oh He's at. You know, you can just like cut it in half. Yeah, I did cut it in half, but it didn't really work. Put the camera down. <laughs> so we are gonna bake it this time in the oven, like without anything on it, leave it to crisp up, and then we'll put the. We just use like canned tomato pasta. You, if you're gonna do canned tomatoes, add like garlic and shit so in there. Weird, eh? And then you put mm -hmm. you put cheese on top and grill it in the oven. Purple rain. So we're gonna make the parmigiana and we're also gonna make some tofu nuggets and Hunter's gonna try them. Even though he refused to try some vegetarian sausage earlier. This is how we make the tofu nuggets. I've put it on my story, but the aim of the game is you want the pieces to be all like rough and look like like little bits of chicken so what i do is i just break it into like quarters a bit and then you just Mesh like break it like this so you want them to be like all like fuzzy does that make sense so that you don't want to cut it so they look like stone yeah or like they little like chicken bites you know how like popcorn chickens all like it's all like rough do you mind if I play some music or will it get copyright struck? It'll get copyright struck. I'll just put your phone on the charger. Oh, thanks, babe. So you just tear it up like this. So that's all torn up and it's all like chunky. And then I just put some oil in. And then you can literally add whatever you want, like nutritional yeast is yum, garlic, soy sauce, chicken salt. I'm going to add just soy sauce and chicken salt, but literally add chili, add whatever the fuck you want. Put like a dash of Fuck, it's a bit much. <laughs> and a shot of vodka. <laughs> and a shot of chicken salt. Fuck, <laughs> literally the whole thing. Bye. Okay. Fold it around until all the bits are coated. <laughs> Vita just said, don't you think it, what did you say? Like, what do dogs think about at times like this? Like, <laughs> it's been like that for like an hour. Like, fuck, wouldn't that be boring? Like, You're right. That's all animals, babe. It's not just dogs. She's probably thinking like, oh, what if I get a tree? When's mum going to be home? All day. Everyone shut up. <laughs> Oh, you're so cute. Oh, where's your sister though? She's getting a pet right now. What's she thinking about? This is nice. Yeah. 
It's a nice one, boy. How do you even think of this shit? <laughs> Concerned about what dogs think about. That's honestly Vita in a nutshell. Goals. 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 Yeah. 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 Fuck it up. Fuck it up. Honestly, to get under the dance, all you have to do is say anything in that, like, in that tune and, like, build them up and he just does it. Oh, that's my dish from lunch. Mum would not be happy with that. Bye. A, 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 oh, yeah. See, I literally say anything. <laughs> This isn't on the meal plan, but we've both got tofu in our meals and we haven't had any of our snacks or anything. So it will still like, you know, we won't be over our um, calories and macros for the day. Hey. And that's what it looks like after grilling it. Cute. I'm having to use my phone for lighting because we're in a dark car. I've taken all my makeup off. We are about to head to the movies. We're gonna go and see us. Oh my God, that was surely not. That was pretty cool. Yeah, that was real scary. Probably scarier than the movie, to be quite honest. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go and see that scary movie. And I feel like I'm gonna finish the vlog here. So thank you so much for watching. Thank and you so much, guys. He's so appreciative, so. It's been a pleasure having you all. An absolute pleasure, and we will see you in the next video. Bye!